When it's far to say, if you haven't cried in this truth, then you're not really in this truth, right? You know, um, because this world, right, you know, tells you about, oh, no, you gotta, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. Look, one of the things that, you know, when that happening in this, uh, what you call it, in this truth is you go and cry. Why? Because you're going to be put in difficult situations, man, where you will be, what you call it, where you have to give up certain things, right? Maybe your family, your you know, your your quote-unquote friends, your job, or whatever, you know, your woman might leave you, and let's be real, that's gonna, you know, that, that may have a, an emotional impact on you, so, hey, mother, your kids, or whatever, what have you, right, so, one of the things that will, may end up happening, or will happen over the course of time, is you will, you will cry in this truth, but that's okay, get it out, let it out, right, because, the greatest man to ever walk this earth. Yeah, how shy he cried. Right? John eleven thirty five. Jesus wept. Right? Or yeah, how shy wept to be to be uh, more more accurate. Right? He wept and there ain't nothing wrong with that man. Right? Because you cry when, you know, you, you know, things happen to you in your life. Right? You hear something, you know, bad, you just befallen the brother, you might you might you might uh, tear tear up. Hey man, when you're thinking how much of a piece of shit you are, you might tear up and just beg the Lord for mercy. Right? This is Matthew twenty six seventy five. Um, you know, there's a story of uh, of when uh, uh, Peter, would you call it, uh, was basically asked if he was uh, uh, if he knew you how shy, right? And the cock crowed, right? In fact, fuck it, let me just read into it. Um, 26 from 69 Matthew 26 69 then now Peter sat without in the palace and the damsel came unto him saying thou also was with uh, Yehoshua of Galilee and he, but he denied before them all saying I know not what thou sayest and when he was gone out into the porch another maid said and said unto them that were, that were there this fellow was also with Yehoshua of Nazareth and again he denied with an oath, I do not know this, I do not know the man. And after a while came to him, they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech uh, berayeth thee. Then he began he to curse and to answer, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. Right? And Peter, right, remember the word of Shai, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly, right? So, hey, he, like I said, he was like, oh, man, because he, he was like, oh, man, hey, I betrayed the Lord, you know, I denied the Lord, rather. Why well, he felt a type of way. Well, it's like, it's truth, man, you might do stuff, you might, man, I was being wicked, you might, you know, you'll cry. Right? Or, 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 or you might see the, uh, you know, the genuine love that brothers have for each other, and then you'll cry, ain't nothing wrong with that. Right, ain't nothing wrong with that. Right, but also the, obviously there's there's the balance, just of anything. As right, so Ecclesiastes seven and seven says, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and the gift destroyeth the heart. Right, so we we will be uh you know we get oppressed all the time, and we see certain things our blood will boil, and there's there's nothing that we can do about it, man. And you get angry, you get pissed off, you you know you you might shed a few tears. Right? You see all the wickedness that's going on in the world. You see how brothers suffer. You see, hey man, you'd want to you wanna cry, man. It says Daniel 7.25, it says, And uh, he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Right? Uh, which is the point I want to touch on. It says, And think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Right, so that's talking about, uh, but basically, so the point I wanted to touch on there is, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and we're being worn out. We're worn out. We just want to get out of here, man. We're just hoping that the Lord, 
would you call that the Lord comes back which is why the scriptures say what it says right uh, what is that but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved and the key word there is enduring right because we're gonna be going through oppression, right? You know, we're getting worn out, and in in that, you know, you might shed a few few tears, but we gotta enjoy, enjoy, and just like you're saying, enjoy, right? Up until the uh, until the Lord comes and delivers out of this hell and brings us into the new kingdom, as Revelation twenty one and four says, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. So in the kingdom, right? In the kingdom, we won't we won't we'll be crying, man. The kingdom is all gonna be good, it's all gonna be blessed. Well, you got that, uh, what do you call that song by the Supreme Jubilees? It'll all be over, right? And it even goes into wiping away the tears, if I'm not, if not mistaken, right? Because in the kingdom, all oh, this hell's gonna be over, man, because this ain't our rest pursuant to Micah 2 and 10, right? This ain't our rest. Right, it says in Micah two ten, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Right, it's not what I wanted, but in Hebrew it was at like thirteen fourteen. Right, it says for here we, Hebrews thirteen fourteen, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Right, and in that new city, look, and we'll read it again, Revelation twenty one and four it says and the most high shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And thou shalt be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. And that's talking about, uh, you know, to the children of Israel. Right? That's to the children of Israel. And it was a uh, thing of, we, we, life's going to be good on the other side. But up until then, man, you may have to have a cry. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Right? Or just go in your room, lock the door and just cry. So with that, Lord's all that was edifying. Until the next time, I say shalom.